Welcome to Carly Tackles, a storage bench. This storage bench is going to store hidden litter boxes for our cats. With any project, it's nice to have some assistance. This is our entryway, and this is where I want to place the storage bench. I started by removing the trim boards, and now I'm measuring the space. I'm using 2x2s for my frame. To assemble this frame, I'm using just a few tools. One, I'm using my 90 degree angle clamps. I'm using a number eight countersink drill bit with my Ryobi power drill. And then I'm also using my Ryobi impact driver to drive in construction screws. You will find that I repeat the same steps over and over again until my frame is fully constructed. To determine the size of the store bench, I had a few things I needed to consider. One, I needed to consider the size of the kitty litter boxes. Now I want to have two tubs on each side so the cats can walk in. You want to make sure when you have litter boxes that you have enough height for your cats to feel comfortable inside their space. Second, I also wanted to make sure that it was a good sitting height for me. I don't want to sit really, really low to the ground or try to climb up to something and put on my shoes. I want to make sure that I'm meeting both purposes, kitty litter function and a place to sit when taking off your shoes. And of course my supervisor wanted to check in to make sure that I'm building this frame correctly. The third thing I needed to consider was how drawer slides would impact my height and width of my storage bench. I want to be able to pull the litter boxes out using drawers and just sit on the bench to clean them out. So to recap, I need to know the size of the litter boxes so that they can fit in the drawers nicely. I need to know how much space installing the drawers is going to add to the storage bench. And I need to account for the sitting height of the storage bench so that it is comfortable when taking on and off your shoes. So my final dimensions come out to 21 inches high and 21 inches deep. Length varies on the two boxes. On the one side, I have a little bit longer wall space so I can make it bigger and have some storage for some of my kitty litter supplies. My minimum length was determined by the length of my kitty litter tubs and my drawer slides, which ended up being 21 inches long. I need to make sure I have enough space for mounting those drawer slides, fully enclosing that litter box, and installing a drawer face. The nice thing about having the same height and depth is my spacers are all the same. I'm basically making a square box. And once I had those two frames made, it was super easy to connect them using the same technique I used to build them to begin with. Here is a close up of how well those 90 degree clamps work in this space. It really keeps your pieces square and flush. And I use these clamps on my cabinets and I found so many other purposes for these things. But this has really made building this frame super easy for me. The links to these can be found in the video description below. Once you're finished making the first box, you can make the second one. The same technique applies. Now it's time to add some support for our drawer slides to be mounted. This is just a three quarter inch plywood scrap I had lying around. I measured it to the same height as my box and I cut out some notches. Three eighths of an inch from the side and then your bottom and the top length in should be the thickness of your material. Now remember two by two is not fully two inches. Get the actual dimension. To help the stand, we're going to be adding some support beams at the top and the bottom. It would look like that. I'm using Blum's bottom mount 21 inch full extension drawer slides for this project. For better instructions on how to install the drawer slides, you should check out my video in my kitchen cabinet series. There is a link in the video description below. I'm installing the two back brackets to my plywood before I put the plywood inside of the box. 
It's a lot easier to install drawers using this technique versus sticking your whole body in the cabinet trying to install these brackets. Once I'm finished with these brackets, it's time to install my support beams on the top and the bottom. So I want to make sure I'm measuring it so that the drawer sides have plenty of room to fully open and close and that my litter boxes fit. To install the support beams, I'm using the same technique I used to build the boxes. I'm applying my 90 degree angle clamps. I'm going to use my countersink drill bit and pre-drill the holes. And then I'm going to follow up with two construction screws on each side. Now the support beams are installed, we can insert our pieces of plywood with our mounting brackets and we can fasten those to those support beams. I am pre-drilling with a number six countersink drill bit and just driving in one and a quarter inch screws. I'm marking on the frame where I want the drawer slide front to stop. My drawer face is going to be made of 3 quarter inch material. I want the drawer face to be inset with my face frame. In my face frame I'm just going to use a half inch plywood and you can check that out in my next video. So I want to make sure that my drawer slides account for that 3 quarter inch material and my face frame so I inset them a quarter of an inch. Since this is something you're going to sit on, I want to add some support beams in the middle on the front side where you're most likely to put a lot of weight. To make this install easier, I just flipped it on its side and I'm repeating the same process that I did for the support beams for my drawer slides. This is where it's really important to use a countersink drill bit. You want your screw heads to be inside the wood slightly Otherwise, it could scratch your floor or your lid that's going to go on top may not be able to shut all the way. You want to make sure you're driving those screws into the frame and so that they cannot stick out. Our storage bench frame is complete. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. To catch the next videos in this series, please subscribe to my channel, Carly Tackles DIY Tools and Gadgets Tips and Tricks. Make sure you hit that bell to receive notifications when I release new content.